In this video I will show you the Wappler way of creating a dynamic accordion. My name is Ben Plesier and I am a fervent user of Wappler, just like most of you. I start with a new Bootstrap 5 page to which I add my data source. To make it easy on me, I have borrowed the JSON data file from the Dynamic Real Estate demo site. In your case, you would probably choose a data source that is based on a relational database like MySQL. It really does not matter where the data comes from. Then I go through the normal rigmarole of creating a container, a row and a column. I wrongly say rigmarole. It is really easy when using Wappler. Inside the container, I place an accordion. Wappler has produced an accordion containing three cards. For our purpose, we need just the one card that is repeated a number of time in accordance to the data source. Yes. I delete the two other cards. With the accordion selected, I turn it into a repeat area. The expression is the data source. This shows the accordion with all of the data regions open. Not quite what I had in mind. To correct this, I deselect, show. Next, I will show the relevant data inside the card body. I do this by deleting the current card body. Then adding a new card body. Why not just change the text in the original card body? This is because the original card body did not have a paragraph making it impossible to select the text using Wappler. Having said that, I will now add card text, which is in effect, a paragraph. Here I could have double-clicked the text inside the paragraph and changed the wording, plus add a dynamic value. In this case, I decided to go down to dynamic attributes and choose to display inner text. The value of the text is one of the fields in the data source. You could add more paragraphs and enter another field or fields. In this case I will keep it simple. Now I will change the accordion labels, or better said, card headings. For this, I will use the method that I alluded to when entering the body text. I double-click the button text to select the current content and delete the text. I then click the thunderbolt and select the field that I want to use to show as the card heading. So far, the accordion has taken shape as I want it. Now comes the hard part. Because the card is inside a repeat area, the card will be repeated a number of times. This means that each instance of the card will have the same ID. Not only is this illegal, the accordion will not function because it gets a mixed signal from all of the duplicity. To fix this, I need to go into code view. All of the IDs within the repeat area need to be changed into a dynamic value. But not only the IDs, there are also data targets and ARIA attributes that need the same treatment. To make these attributes dynamic, we must attach DMX bind to the attributes. For this, I use the multi-cursor feature in Wappler. Click in front of the first ID. Then hold the Alt key and click in front of each attribute that needs to be changed. Notice that each of these attributes contains the word, 1. Once done, I now type, dmx bind and colon. I then use the multi-cursor method to change each of the words 1 to read dollar sign index. This is the index of the repeat. Lastly, I need to make the values of the attributes palatable to AppConnect. For the IDs, this is a matter of adding single quotes and A plus sign. For the other attributes, dollar sign index needs to be placed within double curly brackets.
When done, I save the file and test the creation. Although not one of the easiest dynamic component to create, it can be done by using Wappler. I am sure that using another IDE, the task would be much more time consuming. I hope that this video has been of benefit to you. I will create more videos like this. If you subscribe, you will be notified of the next video. Thank you for watching.